Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, we are going to talk about my favorite lipsticks of 2021. If you're new in here, I am obsessed with lipsticks. I actually am crazy about everything lips, not just lipstick, lip balm, lip gloss, liquid lipstick, it doesn't matter. If it's for the lips, I will try it. And I'm very picky about my lipsticks. This is not necessarily about lipsticks that came out in 2021, although I think most of them did. It's about the lipstick that I've used and loved the most in 2021. So let's get into it. Let's start with the 2021 release, which is the Givenchy Le Rouge Sheer Velvet. They didn't, I don't think they came out with new colors. They just came out with this new velvety formula. And I have three colors in here that I am obsessed with. The reason why I actually started with this lipstick is because it's the one that I'm wearing right now, number 16, Nude Boise. However, it's not alone. I've applied something that's a bit more hydrating on top, but this is the color. This is the color that I have on. It's incredibly comfortable. However, this is not the formula that you see. So, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand so you guys can see how matte and beautiful and velvety this is. Can you get closer? It looks much warmer on my hand than on my lips, but I promise you, you see how it has absolutely no shine. This is amongst my absolute favorite formulas only because it's super comfortable and you don't need to apply a lot. I personally do not feel comfortable with a lot of lipstick on. So you have seen number 16, Nude Boise. However, I'll take the lipstick off and show you the other two colors, which includes number 27, my absolute favorite. Okay, ladies, Rouge Infusé, number 27. This color is just wow. <laughs> it's just wow. I wore this lipstick so much in 2021. And I remember that most of the times I would wear this lipstick, that's when I would get the most questions on my Instagram, on Instagram stories. Like, what are you wearing? This, it's fantastic. It's like, sexy but not too sexy it's like red but not ready to commit to all the way red it's beautiful and it works with every single skin tone i promise you will it stay a long time no it won't stay long like it, it's not like one of those super long lasting lipsticks however it's just so easy to apply it's like you're applying powder so i don't mind taking this lipstick out of my bag and just reapply it you know i love everything about this lipstick so this is number 27 rouge infusé this is the classic red lipstick from givenchy number 37 rouge graine Again, we have that very velvety, very powdery formula. This is a lot cooler. This would look amazing, again, for every single skin tone. It will make your teeth look whiter. Check this out. I love it. So these three lipsticks, 27, 37, and 16, they're my absolute favorite from Givenchy. I cannot talk about 2021 lipsticks without talking about my lipstick, my own lipstick in collaboration with La Bouche Rouge. Uh, I, I've used uh, quite a lot and actually it's the only one that I have uh, left, but this is, this is my perfect red. I love a good like blood 
red. And this, what's really special about it, other than the color, is the formula. It's a clean, 100% clean product made with natural ingredients, which means that it's also good for your lips because it has a lot of oils. Now, when I have launched with La Bouche Rouge, this lipstick, it sold out in 72 hours. Was I upset that there were not a lot more lipsticks available? A little bit. After a while, they... they uh, got it back in stock and it was all good but I have to tell you this is by far one of my favorite reds. Let me put it on. So this is this is when I'm going in with the lipstick, meaning I get the most out of this pigment. And you can see it's very hydrating. Formula still stays incredibly lightweight. Like you don't feel it weird and greasy and like heavy. Everything about this lipstick is sustainable. It has no plastic involved in the creation of it. It's a refill, so you're not going to get this leather beautiful leather case which by the way you could personalize it uh, you would only get the lipstick that looks like this okay just be aware of that this is the red andrea my red next one is tom ford <laughs> no surprise if you've been following me the past year you know that i have been crazy crazy about these two lipsticks from Tom Ford. One is in the color Flesh and the other one is in the color Equis. So Flesh is a very warm tone lipstick, matte, comfortable. If you know the um, lipsticks from Tom Ford, you know that they have very, very comfortable, matte, opaque formulas for their lipstick. So let's get in with Flesh. On its own, this lipstick might not say too much to you, but because I love a lot of the 60s vibe and I love to um, apply makeup with the eyeliner, this lipstick works so much with my style of makeup. However, like I said, I would never apply it on its own. I would always mix it with a lip liner. Sometimes I would use this warm brown from Huda Beauty to create that really nice gradient. You see it has a completely different vibe when you mix it with slightly darker lip liner. It's very modern, it's very chic, it's matte, it's mysterious, it's sexy. It's nude, but not too nude, if you know what I mean. One of my favorites, Flesh from Tom Ford. This other lipstick from Tom Ford in the color Equus or Equus, definitely much more wearable on its own. It's a really pretty warm brown. When you first apply it, it feels like it's too dark, right? But then when you spread it, it's like, mm, this is perfection. It gives me a little bit of the 90s vibe. I would wear this with like a very thin eyeliner like just at the base of the lashes you know a lot of mascara not too much foundation not too much structure on the face it's beautiful this is tom ford equus i think gucci killed the game of lipstick this year in particular because i loved everything that i've tried from them and i have different formulas however they're matte formula is really really beautiful this is the high shine finish lipstick and this one is matte let's start with peggy taupe it's a beautiful mauvey taupey mauvey pinkish color one swipe you have pigment the lip is covered completely so it's very opaque oh this one works with the uh, with the eye makeup it's pretty if you love a nice mauve lipstick, but not too mauve. Sometimes, you know, you could get those lipsticks that, I don't know, they just look weird. 
I am very particular about my pink lipstick. Like I wouldn't go pinkier than this unless it's like a fuchsia or like a, you know, like a beautiful bright pink. In terms of mauve lipsticks, this is the max I would go. It's like the perfect color. Because when you open it, it looks like mm, that could be a lot of lipsticks like this. Mm -mm. No, this, this is really special. Peggy Taupe from Gucci. The next one is Goldie Red. It is the exact same formula as the previous one. This pigment is insane. Obviously a very, very warm red matte formula, but not like crazy, crazy matte. So this is Goldie Red. Another formula lipstick that they have is this sort of hydrating you'll see as i apply it this is like a beautiful everyday color it resembles a lot with the color of my lips i could literally keep this on because it works perfectly with the eyes it has a lot more pigment than you would think so this was blaze of moon now this is the other lipstick from gucci completely different packaging completely different formula just so you guys understand i will put it on the back of my hand so you see how sheer this is it's like um tinted lip balm and i have these two colors let's start with the linnet stone you see this looks like a beautiful nude love the high shine it's so hydrating it's so comfortable and like french people have this word agréable meaning it's just like comfortable but it's more than comfortable it's like you love to have it on the lips so this is linnet stone let me show you the other one and now this is the sally soft honey the barely there feeling of pink it's like I'm wearing pink, but I'm not really wearing pink. It's a dream, this color. I love, love both of them. I cannot make up my mind. That's why I showed you both. So this is Sally Soft Honey. Of course, I was going to talk about YSL lipsticks, the Slim Glow Matte. Fantastic formula, fantastic lipsticks. Uh, and the way the bullet is cut, let me show you. Helping you create the perfect lip contour if you wish. I personally like to blot it out a little bit on my top lip and this is the Rouge Pure Couture and I'm gonna start with this because I feel like a lot of you would prefer this uh, formula. Not just the formula but also this particular color. 156. Mm. This goes on like butter. I love, love how it feels, especially, you know, after I've been rubbing my lips so much, taking everything off and reapplying. When I apply this, it's like, mm, it feels good. It's like a, almost like a moisturizer, like skincare for the lips. Yes, it's not necessarily the most modern color. It really depends on your skin tone because if you are darker than me, this will be like a beautiful, like a perfect nude for you. If you are lighter than me, then it might look a bit too dark and maybe a little outdated in terms of color, okay? Not formula. But me, I love it. Not with this much color and shine on uh, the eyes. I prefer this lipstick with more of a matte eye, a lot of mascara, and that's pretty much it. So this is Rouge Pure Couture number 156. Now let's try the Slim Matte, the Slim Glow Matte. The leaves are very, very sensitive right now. However, I will swatch the other three that I like. This is in 203. Can you see the color and the formula for this lipstick? I promise you, this is matte. However, it has like tiny little particles that shine through and then make it look like it's more like satiny. This was 203, but let me show you some other colors that like are beautiful, beautiful. Uh, for example, 207. Look at this 207 so pretty a little bit warmer than this i have a super crazy red the little sticker went away i'll find it no worries 
this is very matte. This is not part of the glowy uh, matte. It's like super, super matte. Look at this. We have, again, the glowy matte, super nice color, warm brown in 210. Another lipstick that I've been wearing a lot this year, and it's not, I don't think it's new on the market. I don't think it has launched this year. It's the Lip Veil from Chantecai. And what I love about this is especially the color. Look at this. You know, those very wearable pinks. Very nice, very comfortable, easy to throw it on, put it in your bag, works with everything, universally beautifying color. That's how I would describe it. I've used it many times and I thought it would be a pity not to include it in this video. So this is in the color Baobab Lip Veil from Shantekai. I could talk about Dior and Dior lipsticks forever, but this very rich brown, reddish brown, I love it. This is their Diorific 076. I mean, it has engraved the Dior store on Avenue Montagne, I think. It's just beautiful. I have a soft spot for Dior, but not without a reason. I mean, I think their lipsticks in particular are amazing. This gives me like expensive vibes. Great formula, works with so many skin tones. Don't be intimidated by this color if you have very light skin tone, it's beautiful. I also love this packaging, it's very cute, very chic, very French. So this is Durific in 076. I have a lot of lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury that I love, but you guys, I'm not going to try them all. Many, many beautiful colors that uh, Charlotte Tilbury released this year. Sexy Sienna. No, Sexy Sienna is, a, is, a, is an old color, babe. <laughs> this is Runaway Royalty, beautiful nude. Even without a lip liner, this is looking fabulous, fabulous. Again, another soft spot that I have when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury. You guys, I think I have every single one of their products and I would say I like 80% of the brand. So this is in Runaway Royalty. Let's try another one. Let's try Wedding Bells because I think that this is a beautiful color that would work with so many skin tones. Yeah, it's like a neutral pink, you see? So this is in Wedding Bells. Now for the rest of uh, the lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury, I'm just gonna show you to you on my hand. This is in this is a nude romance. All of these new colors from Charlotte Tilbury, they're just beautiful nudes. Catwalking. Similar, but a little bit lighter. Then this is super fabulous. Oh, and the last one, and probably my favorite. This is in Cover Star. And again, this color, if you like the very statement nude lip, you know it's hard to find a warm, light brown like this. Last but not least is this lipstick from KVD. And at first I was like, I didn't use it that much on my YouTube channel, but then I literally took it out of my most used bag so that must mean something, right? I have these two colors are the ones that I use the most. One is Lolita and the other one is She Define. Let's try the She Define first. It's very easy to apply. I feel like a lot of the lipstick that I showed you in this video are these colors. I like that it's slim and it's white and uh, 
it's super easy to apply. The color and the formula is very, very pleasant, very nourishing, and it feels a lot like a lip balm, actually. So this is in She Defined. Then we have Lolita. This is a type of color for me that is just easy. I don't need to have like, you know, the perfect skin. Like when I would wear red lipstick, I don't need to have contour like when I wear nude lipstick. Uh, this is just a throw it on, works with nothing but mascara on my eyes, maybe a little bit of concealer. Um, but the fact that it has this very nice berry color, it, it, it just gives me that sort of boost. Now, obviously, I have like full makeup on and you cannot really um, maybe understand what I'm talking about. But you know those days when you really want to do so much, you want to fill in as many things as possible in a day. And then you have to leave the house and doing your makeup and taking 25 minutes to do your makeup is the last thing that you want to do. So sometimes it's going to be like that. Concealer, mascara, and something on the lips. Like literally two minutes type of makeup look. That's why I love this. And then I take it, put it in the back, reapply it. So this is in Lolita. These were my favorite lipsticks in 2021. Are any of these your favorites too? Let me know in the comments. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram because I honestly don't know if I'm going to be around here as frequent as I was until now because, listen, there's a baby on his way. So I don't know how it's gonna be like. It's my first time being a mom and I might take a few weeks off. I might just post less, but make sure you follow me on Instagram because in there I post a lot on my stories and also on Snapchat if you guys are using it. Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.